mock peace negotiations between more than a hundred Israeli and Palestinian students, the next generation brought together in an exercise of coexistence. We want to, to create a platform for the two sides to discuss and it's obvious that we want them to uh, keep an open dialogue and be aware and tune uh, and come up with ideas. From what I've learned, peace is the only solution here. The people on both sides are paying the price, and we need to get together to force our governments to find a solution. These are individuals born into a seemingly never-ending conflict. But hope is not all lost. Once we both agree that we're going to live peacefully, either in two separate nationalities or either in one country, the peace could be like the only solution for this conflict. In, I don't think either side wants to live in hate. As any conflict goes, you always have to understand the other side of the story in order to solve anything. There were few ground rules, but one may be the key to unlocking the door to reconciliation. Absolutely no talk of past grievances. Only a focus on improving the situation based on current circumstances. It's been quite, quite amazing to see how sophisticated some of these conversations have been given the fact that you know most people were born after the most traumatic events relating to the conflict and yet they're able to bring a sophistication that I didn't expect. The event comes as US President Donald Trump is preparing to unveil his much typed peace proposal for which neither Israelis nor Palestinians have shown much enthusiasm. One of the lessons is that it's very important to create the Congress of the Israeli-Palestinian people that can involve the people and press the leadership. And this is the whole of this purpose, because if we're going to wait to the leadership, it's not going to work. Perhaps these future leaders can use this experience to build bridges and, when their time comes, finally achieve an elusive peace. Oh,